everybody and welcome back to Fallout 76. We're over here by the Shuri Grove. Um, we're going to be heading back now towards uh, the top of the world. On the way we'll go past Site Alpha. Um, somebody else here as well, isn't there? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll do that on the way. So let's set a marker there. So at least we know the direction and then I think we can get up that way by going around here. You probably want to jump off here I hope you guys are all doing well and doing good kind of found out some very interesting stuff oh damn we need to go across that way no 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 it's fine we can go up this way I think didn't need to jump off the roof after all did we Jesus Christ <laughs> Flipping mole rats, eh? You know what I am getting low on, though? Is. Oh, hello. Hardened combat sniper rifle. Well, oh, it's level 50. <laughs> um, you know what, actually? We'll take it because we'll just break it down. There's a workbench down here. It'll only take us a moment. Uh, yeah, there we go. We get an extra mod out of it. Or two. Um, yeah, my carry weight is now way better because um, I took the my I put my pack rack car back in and it just made the, the all my junk weigh like very little. So we find the carry weight, we can pick up a few more things. Uh, I did have to take out like a couple of things, my strength one, but that's okay. We'll live. We will live. I think it was one just about our melee weapons doing 10% more damage, so I lost 10% damage on melee weapons only. Well, I don't use them that much, I guess. I guess. If I get a super sledge, I might use that. Next question, how do we get up from here? We need to keep going this way. Oh, hello. Little camp. The tent that just got mashed. And a dead guy. And a plasma grenade. Some wood. Carrots, potatoes. I need to set up a farm to get like adhesive, you know, like the what is it, the vegetable starch, I think it is, and you get like razor grain, potatoes and something else. I can't remember what else. But um yeah, I need to set that up at some point, but kind of don't want to do it just yet. Till we get like a um, stash increase, so I can like just produce a load of vegetable starch and stash it. I don't know what the stash increase is going to be though. I mean, it probably would be up by the time you guys get it. I imagine it's not going to be a lot because I I think they purposely wanted to keep the stash fairly low to avoid people just completely bulking up on everything um, like I think their idea for part of the uh, end game is to go around collecting stuff to build better components and things better armour and stuff and I know some people kind of find that a bit tedious and complain about it but like that kind of is quite common in a lot of games I don't even know what I need that iron ore for. Uh, the side is actually this way a little bit, so we'll kind of look here. Right in the middle of nowhere as well, isn't it? up there because that would be a bit annoying of course it's up there that I can't get to <laughs> uh, 
I just trudge around the uh, the area in my power armor. Still doing alright for fusion cores though. So that's fine. They're quite easy to find. I'd say they're actually easier to find in Fallout 76 than they are in Fallout 4. In all honesty. I do run out a lot more in Fallout 4. And when you consider that there is a lot of uh, other people in Fallout 76 taking fusion cores out of generators and stuff. It's kind of like, I think it shows that it's not the uh, hardest thing to get in the world. Uh, okay, here we go. So I guess it's like underwater. That would make total sense. Got over here. Petrified corpses, site alpha. Oh. There's an automated factory. <laughs> oh boy. I don't suppose I can get down there. Oh, maybe I can. Got it. I can't. Hacksaw. Okay, well at least we found the place. There's a tape missing from there, so I think that's probably like a later thing we have to do. to find some like military officer's hand and chop it off. <laughs> uh, oh, I might as well just fast travel back to my camp. It's right there. And it's free. junk in the stash maybe I can't remember what my stash box is uh, full or not it's pretty full uh, I could probably take a weapon or two though I don't know how much 10 mil ammo I've got 189 it's not really enough that yeah we'll take that though we'll take the 45 did we manage to store all our junk no not even close. 209 moulded plastic. We could actually, though, um, scrap all the junk. Uh, can't exit your armour here. There we go. We could make some ammo. 45 rounds. There we go. Some of that. And then we need to bulk up some stuff. Uh, question is though, what do you bulk up? Sometimes I bulk stuff up and it actually ends up way more. I'm just going to quickly Google it. Uh, let me have a look. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, 
Okay, here's what jo junk you should bulk to free some weight in your stash. Acid. Okay. Acid, yes. Adhesive. Yes. Oh my god, look how much adhesive we have. Like, seriously. <laughs> Aluminium. No. Oh. Oh. Let's just bulk everything, sod it. Cloth. I think we want to bulk it, actually. I don't know. So sometimes it weighs more, sometimes it weighs less, actually. So I'm just kind of looking. Uh, lead is definitely something, but we used all our lead up. Uh, what else is there? Waste oil. Okay. Uh, uh, bulk steel weighs more, wood weighs more, plastic weighs more, springs. Springs and cork. We have cork. And bone. Bone we don't have. Gears. Yeah, they were less. Okay, I might do. How did that help us out? Oh, that helped us out a lot. You see that? Well, that's nice. Uh, still over encumbered. That's because we've got the power armor. Okay. We managed to get all that stuff in. Okay. Apart from the gears in the spring. Everything else is kind of... I think we've, we're doing all right. We've got quite a lot of titanium shards, actually. We could um, potentially uh, look at making some of that armor. Let's get in here. So we're at 187 out of 2 of 5. That's not bad. This is 397, okay. And we've got our tactical piercing combat rifle. Three hundred and two ammo. What I'm gonna do though is where's my camp? Oh I can just hold V. Uh and put down a weapons bench so I can weapons workbench. Oh, there we go. Oh, did it get destroyed? Oh, it's need no. What? Okay, I don't know. Was it always there? I just weirdly missed it. That's <laughs> really odd. Oh god, I can't exit my armor. It's quite annoying to exit your armor to have to craft, but it is understandable. Space modifier repair. Okay. Okay. Okay, so thirty four we can get it up to. Thirty-seven. Nothing on the barrel. Precise stock. Standard magazine. Okay, so we can just increase the damage a little bit. What about with this? Eighty-two is the max that we have at the minute. We could 
get a better accurate barrel. That seems fine for that price. Standard magazine, yes, we definitely want a larger magazine. Ah, what do we want in here? Suppressor. Ah, oh, yes, finally got my suppressor back. I know it will dampen the damage a little bit, but... That's cool. Okay. So now it holds seven. Good. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Nearly. It's nice that my base is still there when I log back on. Okay. Got it. We need to drink and eat something. We've got a lot of uh, not a lot of dog food left. Okay. Speak to Rose. Here we go. What the fuck is this thing? Good God. I never got a disease. Luckily I've got like a shit ton of disease cure. Here we go. A lot of dead raiders here. Oh, dog food. There's a lot of dead raiders here. Okay, let's loot this after. Let's have a look for this rose lady. Ah, uh, <laughs> she's a mannequin's corpse. Should we speak to her first? Oh, I see now. You're here about that guy, huh? Well, good luck getting anything out of him. He's been dead a while. He came up here to negotiate with my raider associates. They strung him up and left him to die after convincing him to stick a deal with that wooden up to. Before you ask, I don't know. I wasn't there. Anyway, you're probably looking for that sports detector uplink plan that you've been trying to install on the totem. Yes. Seems real handy. I know where it is, but I'm not ready to talk. But maybe if you help me out, I'll trust you enough. Uh, well, this is a little awkward. Not what either one of us expected, eh? Anyway, to prove I'm not a monster, I scrounged up some old junk to give you as a reward. Okay, thank you. Hey Rose, let me know what I need to know. I'll let you live. Toolbox full of scary things that you need to tear 
Okay. See that rose? There's Madigan. Damn it. Damn raiders. So I wonder how they all died. Got a lot of grenades on them though, haven't they? Like a lot of grenades. Okay. Where's that scorched zealot? There's also like things around here. I guess that's the elevator telling me to go down. Yeah. I think so. What's on level two? Mezzanine. We'll have a look at the mezzanine. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. I can see just about anything with my robot eyes. The main group finder. Shoot, what's and this? Got him. Okay, where the hell are we and why are we here? Is that robot uh, going to attack me? Nope, he's friendly. Night vision plasma sniper rifle. Sure, why not? I'm going back to my thing anyway. I might as well take all the weapons I can. in here oh hi combat shotgun nice oh uh, this is telling me I can um, add it to that syringe now where the hell did I get that from she gave that to me because that's flipping awesome That is pretty flipping cool. Shame I can't use it for ten level for like five levels actually. Uh, I don't really want Mongol dog meat. I don't know why I took that. Uh, let's just collect up some scrap first, I guess, so we can make sure that we can have enough stuff to make this and maybe a little bit extra on the side. Decent loot around here, haven't they? Well, like junk, I mean. You know. Oh, junky, junky. This place needs a bit of exploration, doesn't it? Okay. Let's. So we can craft. 
And craft. No, we actually wanted to modify repair, don't we? Cool. We actually had everything we needed. Okay. Dreamboat Angry Letter. I'm absolutely appalled at the company's lack of customer service. In February, I purchased a Dream Run of 5,000 luxury yacht from your establishment at the top of the world at a pleasant ski valley resort. Like my badge, I expect the yacht to be awaiting my arrival at home. To my disguise, it wasn't there. Considering the fact that bespoke yachts take two to four years for delivery is not good business sense, I expect a full refund or my yacht delivered immediately. Can I unlock a third? That's. yeah. 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 Yep, yep, yep. Dreamboat owner's note. So I don't care how crazy it sounds and telling you that wealthy people will buy anything when they're on vacation. Heck, I'd open a store that sold plots of land on the moon if it wasn't illegal. Don't you worry about how the customers will get the boat while they're on a ski trip. You just get them in here and I don't worry about it. Jolly McPherson, owner of Dreamboat Yachts. Jolly, first it was Dream Skies Airplanes, then it was Dreamtastic Homes, and now we've switched to Dreamboat Yachts. So how many crazy business ideas are you going to drum up where the customer walks out of the store empty-handed? It's pretty tough to get people in here where they know darn well they aren't walking out with anything except a receipt. And yet, it worked. Yes, it did. Oh my god, this place is huge. So we've got to shoot a Yao Guai with a syringe. Of course, it had to be a Yao Guai, didn't it? Couldn't it be like, you know, a scorched? Oh, hi. I accidentally hit the mannequin. My bad. Oh, for God's sake, all the safes in here are level three. Skiing outfit hat. A shunker hat, yeah, I've got them. There's another skiing outfit hat. Oh, that hat though. Dirty Federer. Different colour Federer. It's a Roger Federer. <laughs> uh, I'll get my coat. Oh, I want to go in there. Got a Yuka Cola. Nah. Restaurant. Customer comment terminal. Uh, I had the guac around the clock burger, <laughs> which is pretty good. The guacamole is fresh, but I don't think it pairs well with pineapple. Great service, can start for friendly. I'll come back again. Both our burgers are excellent, so popular hot with a generous portion of french fries. Both had the crab tree burger with crab meat, apples and Canadian bacon. Mm, sounds nice. Terrible, just terrible. First, the cod piece burger. God, cold. The fish is undercooked. My wife's meal was fine, but the manager was very rude. I had to argue to get our money back. Awful. Wish, uh, there's something else about burger. has really for some spaghetti. Kind of romantic, looking for the huge window at the scan bay. Oh, that's alright. We've got that holotape to listen to. Oh god, help me, I don't know what happened. There were explosions in the glass everywhere. What's going on? Are we at war? Help me, please. How can I get uh, the police on this thing? People are dying. Ha. Huh. This thing is done. Reading this makes me hungry. I miss burgers. My comment is that you will suck. And cutthroats fool. Uh, where's that holotape? Excuse 
ski trip. Oh. That sounds like Rose. Interesting. So it seems like Rose is taking up the personality of this Rosalind. Likes drugs, <laughs> speaks the same way. Very interesting. What's this? Officer Letton's terminal. Oh, first time every time, guys. Okay, disengage the lock. Let's take out the diamond dust retail location continues. The coral cougar gemstone has been on display here for two weeks. Still, there's no sign of the mysterious jaw feet known only as the haunt. Everyone here calls things I'm crazy, but certainly certain amount of time. You see, the haunt and I have a connection. Something that links us together. That's why we've been at a stalemate for years. Well, this time I intend to put the haunt's day of grand larceny to an end and bring him or her to justice. Full alarm today, one with sunglasses and a scarf came into the store and spent almost 10 minutes looking at the coral cougar display. While I never thought the haunt would dare rob a store in broad daylight, I can take any chance. I took her into custody. Due to lack of evidence, my captain forced me to let go. I'm not certain if this was a accomplished testing our defences or a ploy to break my spirit. I feel the haunt out there mocking me, teasing me, or going anywhere. Almost four months elapsed and no sign of our criminal. The haunt is testing my results, but I'm not going to break. The management sort of asked me to leave. <laughs> I told them to ignore the cotton portable shower I set up in the men's bathroom. The boys just work around me, there's justice to be served. <laughs> okay. Where are you, Haunt? Are you watching me right now? I can feel your eyes drilling into my mind, waiting for me to make a mistake. Dare to try and steal the coral cougar, Haunt. I don't care if you spend the rest of my life watching this place. I know you're out there, I know you're waiting. The end game is upon us, old friend. Time for you to make your next move. I ran into some missing explosion, massive explosion outside today, and I ran into the atrium at the top of the world just in time to see the mushroom clouds. At that moment, a horrible thought crossed my mind, and I dived back into Diamond Disc. The case of the coral cougar was empty. The detonation of the bombs, the timing all perfect. It was a master stroke. Well played, Haunt. Well played. Got you in the end. Okay, where the hell is that safe then? Must be the other side, right? Well played, Haunt. Coral Cougar. Let's grab these weapons. Uh, there we go. This guitar sword, let's have a look at it. Okay, Blade of Bastard, increased armor penetration 65. This is 62. It's pretty rubbish, isn't it? Might as well break it down. Probably weighs a lot too, does it? 2.4. Yeah. There's the safe. Yes, I know I'm over encumbered. Okay. 
First time every time. Oop. No point taking that armor. Fresh coffee. Oh, dog food. My favorite stuff. God damn it. Snowflake baubles. Ah, we've been in there already. Cool. Okay. We've done a little lap. Let's go back down, I guess, and try and find this Yao Guai. Radio jammer. Uh, that's not the way down. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> okay. Is there a particular area we need to shoot at Yao Guai? The only place I know for sure. Oh, there's a Yao Guai up there. I know there's one up here as well. But maybe it wants us to do it there. So we can go for a wander up there. Uh, I also want to go back and do that at some point so that we can do that next quest. Um, <laughs> you can die. There's going to be loads of luck moldmen around here, isn't there? Is that actually a bad thing, though? Because I kind of want to kill them to get the... Uh, suit stuff bio commerce metal armor lining sure Got quite a lot of caps as well it's nice oh it's scorched no I'm not interested <laughs> Because I can take ballistic ammo and it weighs less. I'm, oh, it doesn't have. A, that doesn't. Have, oh, I don't know if it does. It weigh less in my stash then, or I don't know. I don't know. I am confused. Uh, makes the target incredibly powerful for sixty seconds, but incredibly weak for sixty seconds. Okay. Go down here. Okay, so we have been there. So I say maybe we'll head up this way to Sunny Top. Kind of explore around there. That seems good. That seems like a plan. Just follow this road, what could go wrong? Fox. 
shit. Terrible aim. Oh my god, Phil. It's free XP. Don't really want the fox meat though. Okay. Not too much going on around here, is there? Kind of quiet. I like it when it's quiet. <laughs> I should probably get that syringe. Does it? Do we have to make the karma syringe? Ooh, I just had a thought. Did she give us karma syringes? Or do we have to make them? Uh, I wonder if we've got any plans. Notes. Maybe I don't have to make them. Worst case scenario, I guess I could always, um, I should probably test it out on like one of these scores, shouldn't I? Okay. Okay, bear with me. Wow, really? <laughs> Karma dart was something you could have sneezed at and killed. All right, Rose. Oh, you can just use it on something random. I did it. Interesting, don't actually have to go and kill the Yagwai, that's cool. Uh, right, so we could probably make it over here, but... Oh. Thanks. Uh, craft explosive bait, any workshop, find materials to craft explosive bait. Let's have a look what we need. Explosive bait. Rad stack meat. Okay. We're going hunting for hunting for rad stacks. This by happenstance, somebody happened to leave 
a nice fresh radstag corpse somewhere around here. Oh, what's that over there? I spy my lies. I'm beginning with ammo. God damn it. Okay. Oh, hey. Okay. Um, right. Let's go into the woods a little bit because I reckon there'll be a rad stag around here somewhere. Well, where does it say? There you go. It's behind us. Let's go that way then. What was this? Bit of wonder glue. Awesome. it up the hill. What's there? Oh. It's telling me there's a workbench there. <laughs> I bet it's like someone's camp as well and I bet as soon as I got near they'd like log off and their base would despawn. It's the scorchy scorch. Pretty nice view. Oh aluminium. Still haven't worked out how I turn that into scrap, but hey. So I've got my possum. That's right, my rats. Didn't get me this time, did you? Oh, there's one more. He burrowed, he burrowed. Gotcha. Glowing blood. I'll take it. Oh, blimey. Oh, flip it out. Let's have a look. Any good? 74. My one does. 82. Not any good. That's level 10. Ugh, level 10. How dare you. Okay. Let me go back to that Tinker's workbench. Craft the explosive ammo. Eat some doggy food. Drink a new cola. Chicka chicka. Ah. Okay, should be up this way. Go for a jog. Nice power on the jog. Oh, there's a survey tower over there. That could be useful. 
Yeah, this is where we want to go. Thanks. Power armor is useful. Another fifty in my stash. How do I lack the materials to create this? all the materials to create this. <laughs> Frag mines, copper, adhesive, rest egg meat. Okay. What I might do then is uh, go over to the signal tower. We might do the uh, mistress and mystery quest next time and come back to this. Maybe it's just like bugged out. That's fine. Interesting. Central Mountain Lookout. Oh. Okay, that doesn't disarm it, it triggers it. Okay. Any more traps? Oh, <laughs> they're playing uh, drafts. Or was it American school checkers? It's a missile. Don't really want that. Yes, I am going to sit here and take all of these. Cocaine cam, autumn aqua, windigo cave, the sludge hole. Identify six new locations. Okay. Cool. Bent spruce knob. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Um, okay, cool. What I think we'll do is we'll finish up here. What I might do next time is might fast travel down there um, do our little thing there find out what the next mission is there and then kind of have a look at that but till next time guys thank you for watching it's been my pleasure and I'll see you next time bye bye